I don't know what this video is going to be about, but I just want to show you guys. Added a few more stickers. That one's been there, as you guys know. That's a kids who hunt, fish, and trap. Don't kill little old ladies. I put another one of those right here I had inside. That one's right here by my shifter. Um, I got a get hook kickboxing one, which I can't get the wrapper up because the letters won't come off. But someday, hopefully, they will. It's okay. It's like 10 horsepower is covered up, but you, I still know it's there. I put this one on there. You got the silver bullet one. You got this track that means nothing to me. I put all these on here. I made these all, and I would never use them, so I'll just put, put them there. Got that one, another one. I'm going to get another different sticker to go there. Um, mower outlaw sticker. I know I put this in a bad spot because it always gets covered in mud. But that's right there. Got another get hook kickbox thing, a Taco Bell. And then got the Sunoco. So I'm gaining. I still want to get more for spots. I still got to get that Aiden Don't Hit Me one. But yeah. So this video will go on. I don't know what it's going to be about. I think I'm going to clean her up today and stuff. So right now I'm just giving her some grease. I might give her a bath, I might not, I don't know. She's just gonna keep getting muddy. But I'll grease her all up today. I gotta go get some washers, so go on a little journey quick. Yep, one. That should be enough. I don't know. I don't know what I have on the other side. I need two on both sides, is what it seems like, so to get them not to get stuck. Um. Very nice. Now let's jack up the other side. I'll show you quick what I did for my tail. Here's how I take them on and off. First, jack it up. Oh, you just lift it up on the trails and clean up the mud. You grab a screwdriver, you can do it by hand, or pliers. I always keep pliers in my toolbox, so. And I always keep screwdrivers, so. And all I use is little cotter pins. See? That's all I use. And you pull the tire off. This one has zero washers on it. So I'm gonna grease her up and find a washer. I managed to find one, so that's gonna have to work. This goes on like that. I was confused there for a second. Oh, I gotta move my jack. So I had to move my jack, wet it down because it just moves around so it was getting so close to it my tire was hitting. But now, yes, yeah, throw that on like that. Now, you put this in there. Um... Take the screwdriver, it just get it on the other side of the washer. You know, pow, pow, pow. Maybe. There we go. Now she's all good to go. Um, I'm gonna do a quick what's in my ammo box because it needs to be cleaned out. So. And what I did to make my ammo box waterproof and stuff. A lot of crap right now. There's a hood pin I've been looking for. Okay, so I spray foamed everything in here. And I didn't mean to do this on purpose, but it fits perfect with that spray foam that blew up. 
have it all spray foam down the bottom. All my holes are spray foam. I understand spray foam ain't waterproof. I really don't care. So, these are just some rags. You never know when you're going to need them. So, this side, I have a little cotton candy container that I use. You stuff it in there like that. And then, you don't take that. You put all the stuff in there that needs to go in there. So, one second. I put that pin in here. So here's one shackle I have with me. Here's two shackles. Here's some just random hookup things. Um, now my key, one extra key switch. Um, where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. This is the one I'm going to end up putting on there because it's a little bit nicer. But that one goes in there. And I'll take that. That can go in there. Now. Gas line can go in the bottom. Like so. These are just some nuts and bolts. Those can go in the bottom. Go in the bottom. Pretty much all this stuff can just go in the bottom. You just throw it in there. That needs to lay on top. All your main stuff goes on top. Is what I do. So all of this, you don't need. Zip ties are important, but you can always get to them anyways. So, I've got an extra fuel filter with me. Now this is my tire packing kit. Put that in there like that. Now you take this and this. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'll fix it for you. I sort of did it backwards. I have to put the oil on first, but the oil goes down there. Now you just shove all that stuff in there. Again. While you're in stuff is like my main stuff, nuts and bolts and stuff, so I'll just throw them in there. Got some zip ties. Then, through that, you take this, the so air pump for trails, and that goes in sideways like that. Then this flashlight, which is really bright, just can't tell because it's daylight, that goes in there just like that. Then blue tape, then some electrical tape, and you just take the garbage and throw it in there because you don't want to go third way because you're too lazy. And then you close it. So that's like my main water proof ammo box throw my phone in there i'm gonna get another one i have another one i just gotta find a spot to mount it now the rough toolbox that ammo box with all my tools in it i'm gonna take all that quick now you really can see that i don't really care about this one all my tools that go in here i'm not worried about it because there's holes all through it i just have it where hopefully it'll stay better <laughs> um and you have allen wrenches and some adapters for my screwdriver that's garbage that's garbage um, I throw my scissors in there, throw these little snips in there, throw, I don't throw that in there, screwdriver, go down there, well first that can go in, this is a handle for lifting up, but, I don't, I don't use it, but, it was off old Betsy, I just carry it in there just in case I ever need it, here, vice grip, you really should have vice grips, flathead screwdriver, and this is my adapter screwdriver, and then paper pliers. So that's what I carry for my main stuff. Then I have this little thing. I just carry a little knife in here just in case, you never know. Just for like cutting wires, stripping wires and stuff. Because I always carry enough for self defense anyway in my pocket when I ride. Um, well, that's all my storage points for now. Um, I'm trying to find a spot for that other ammo box I have to have my wiring in, but. For a waterproof one for my phone, but so that's it for now. Oh, hold on, guys! I forgot to mention to always grease your steering. Now mine's down here. Normally they're up higher, but mine's down here. Grease that up. I gotta spread it around, but it's there. Um, I got some of this lubricant right here. That I'm gonna spray on the parts that move that I can't get. Um, which we call it with the grease gun. So yeah. So 
I broke my throttle cable, but now I'm going to send her straight to the governor. Because I'm tired of it, and so I'm going to send her straight to the governor. So we're making an adapter right now for it. So the adapter is made. I took that end, see the bicycle end, wrapped the cable around, put a knot in it, put like four zip ties in it. That's what I did to hold it up there pretty much. I just put some electrical tape on it for because it would move back and forth a little bit and that could ruin your little bit of a throttle. So now I'm going to attempt to hook it up somehow. So what I did, I gotta go quick because my phone's about to die. Just ran the cable all the way around, put a self-tapper here where it stays there, ran it, goes behind the exhaust, greatest spot for it ever. Then this concoction zip ties, I gotta return spring, it's crazy. That's my choke as if if you have never seen it, so about to put it back together. So this can be the end of the video, but I wanna show you what I'm gonna put a new foot throttle on it. Just the throttle itself. I'm gonna put one of these on because this one I have on her, it has so less pedal room that I can't get my all my throttle that I could have out of her. It's got quite a bit, but not what I want. But it's at least hooked up so I can ride it. Um, that's coming off soon. This is the toolbox. I got some springs, bolts. Some towing stuff. Open it up. It can open like this. Or you can open the seat and go back farther. All my tools, some parts. I like it. I don't know if I like the look of it, but um, those are my lights on. Turn my blue ones on. Looks pretty nice. Can't really see the blue ones because it's not dark yet, but they'll serve their purpose when it's dark. They do serve their purpose. Like I said, I gotta hide this wire. Um, but yeah, these are in. They look good. I got to make that straight. You can see it's a little off, but now the ammo box is mostly empty, so now I can make that a little bit nicer and get more parts and stuff. Um, said I added some more stickers. Added those. Got the name of it, Silver Bullet. Structure means nothing to me. Sticker. And this sticker is a little muddy from. I still haven't watched her. I'm probably not going to watch her tonight, but that one. Can't see the, see up close, you can see that, but back, you can't. You can't see the lines that are in it. Let's see if I can get it off. No, I still don't want to come off. Um, got a bunch of stuff on here now. So my wiring is somewhat neat. The only non neat is that, but open my hood. It's pretty neat. Can't really see it. Um, hopefully springs. It would probably confuse you guys, but those two are for my throttle. That one's for my straight pipe. And you can see my throttle goes through there, around, into. I will center straight to the governor. So once I get my bigger foot throttle, it will be ungoverned. Um, like I said, I put that one there, Got I put more stuff in there, so I put this, one of those, so we don't over tighten it, I'm sure all of you guys, if you have lawnmowers or trucks or anything, if you over tighten them, sometimes they're a bee to get off, it's really annoying, so, put that on there, and now I can't over tighten her, um, but yeah, she's looking good, oh, I left my lights on. Not that I should hurt it. You know, it's not running. It should be fine. But. Put my wire under my seat. Not bad. Thinking about putting a nicer seat. A bigger, taller seat on it. But I'm not sure yet. It, this tire seems to be holding there. I don't want to jinx myself. Knock on wood. It's not losing any air. Um, and my steering and itself out as you can see it's straight somewhat it's a little v in but 
as bad as it was. Still completely stand on my bumper. As you can see, I'm completely on it. Um, the dents ain't too bad. Got it out pretty good. Got a new GoPro mount on there. So yeah, peace. I want to say a few more things. The rebuild on this is coming soon, and the rebuild on this is coming soon. But this, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to rebuild. But this, all it needs is, if you go in here, it needs the bottom, which is the exhaust valve. It's all it should need. But I also got this motor over here that I'm thinking about rebuilding too. Um, but, I'm not sure yet. But, maybe. Not, I don't, I'm not familiar with those though. Also, I'll try to get over through here. Oh. I put that ammo box that was on there onto my trailer. Four straps. Right now I'm using them on my Craftsman Racer and Snowmobile, but we will go ahead and you can see I just self tapered her down. I should be okay with the turning, I'm not sure, but I think. Turning just goes through here. Well, yeah, it must be so. But this is the trailer. This is where the toolbox was on it. Right here. Right where those two holes are. That one and that one. Knees I gotta clean up. Those are for my lawn care stuff. I have some Walmart tires on it. They go flat after a few months, but it's alright. That one seems to hold air, I think, but that one doesn't, so... I'll throw a new one on there, but I really like this ammo box here. Now that I'll store a bunch of stuff for going on off-road trips if I ever need it to bring with me. This thing, still haven't started the motor in a while. Um, yeah. Let me move this trailer out of the way quick. Still haven't started this thing in a while. Um, I really need to. Just to get it going. It's been so long. Um, she's got some oil, not very much, but some. I'll have to throw some in there before I start her up. Um, this is the foot throttle on this one, like I said. Um, all this wiring, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. I think, maybe, my cousin knows what it's all for, so maybe he'll help me. But, there's a lot of it here that I have no clue what it's for, so... Um, this can be the on and off switch. I'm going to put a key switch in it. Um, once I get it running, I got to get a new steering arm for it because that one's in the Craftsman. Great Craftsman, but I should be able to pull one out of the, um, whatchamacallit, wheel horse. Um, and hopefully I'll have this thing going soon. But this thing needs some work. Um, I'm not worried about the looks. Probably gonna just leave it like this. I love the look of the messed up blue. Um, but I still haven't decided if this is gonna be a mother or a racer. Still haven't decided. Um, not sure yet. So I still want the gray craftsman to be my racer, and I really want this to be my mother, so I might do that. I'm not sure yet. Um, get some snowboard tires for the front. Actually, instead of turning the wheel horse into the ultimate, I could turn this into the ultimate one more and turn the wheel horse into just the worker. Um, I mean, both tires are, they hold air for like 20 minutes. But, yeah. That's about it. Peace.